Hi, this is Andrew with NVIDIA and you're watching GeForce Garage. Today we're going to take a look at the first skill guide based around our latest mod, the Red Harbinger Cross Desk. The Cross Desk doubles as a high-end PC gaming case, allowing you to install up to two gaming PC systems inside. It's accented with a clear glass top, showing off all your awesome components. Today we have Lee Harrington from PCJunkieMods.com in the studio. He's currently working on a build of the cross desk, so he's got quite a bit of experience. We're gonna show you some of the basics of PC case modding, but specifically we're talking about how to cut holes and panels in the case to improve airflow. Hey everybody, Lee from PC Junkie Mods here. We'll be using most of these tools today. First thing I have here are the safety goggles. If you're worried about any metal shards flying up into your eyes, that, that'll protect you. Then I also have the blue painter's tape for marking off the areas you're gonna be cutting. Next I have some files here. And then I have my MMPC Tech mod ruler. It has all the different thread sizes and hole sizes. Then I have this tool. This is a deburring tool. I use it to clean up the hole after I drill. And then I also have the hole saw. It's a four and a half inch. It's perfect for 120 millimeter fans. And then we have a large drill over here. It's a little bit oversized for what you would need to do to a standard PC case. You could probably get the job done with the quarter drill, but I'm gonna be doing steel today. Next, we got the Dremel. I have a snake attachment on it. This is the most common tool used in the modding industry. I pretty much cut everything with this. And then we have a Craftsman drill, nice handy, cordless. I have some cutting oil, we'll be using that today because we'll be cutting steel. And then I have a variety of drill bits. Then I have my nibblers, very good for cutting aluminum. So let's talk about the chassis that we're gonna be modding today. So we're gonna try to optimize airflow here. So we're gonna take this mesh out because all that's doing is obstructing the airflow into your chassis. This is your main intake right here. The more air you can get to come in, the longer lasting parts you're gonna have. The first step is going to be to mark out the area and tape it. The blue tape's not really my guide per se. The holes are my guide. Okay, so we have it taped off. Before I actually cut, my nibbler has a pretty big tooth right here. So what I need to do is make a bigger hole for the nibbler to start at. So what I'm gonna do is actually drill a hole. So now, the nibbler tooth will fit in there, and then we can start cutting. My nibbler needs a flat surface area where the fan holes are at. It actually dips down, so what I'll have to do is I'm gonna come back and cut these corners out with the Dremel. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my file and go ahead and clean up these edges. So one of the more important reasons to do this is so you don't slice your hand. Besides looks, you still don't wanna cut yourself. By using the file on the edge, I can run my finger across here now. So I got the fan installed now. There's no obstruction in front of the fan, so we're gonna get a lot better airflow. Let's take some of those basic principles and apply them to the Red Harbinger cross desk. Uh, Lee, this thing already has quite a bit of ventilation built into it, so how can we improve this thing here? We're gonna actually create an exhaust area for the power supplies in the back. We're gonna cut a 120 millimeter fan hole right here in the back. So what I'm gonna use to mark off the holes is a template. A lot of templates are widely available on the web. Right now I'm just marking them all in case my template moves. first drill bit was an eighth inch, I used it as a pilot drill bit. So the second drill bit that I'm using is a 1364. Alright, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to tape off the area. The reason being is as you're cutting into the metal, splinters can pop up and those splinters can mark your surface area. The whole saw is gonna get hot, and I need something to cool it down. Uh, I have some cutting oil, which will do the job. So 
So what we're gonna use is a deburring tool to clean up the edge so that way there's no sharp points and this is a lot faster than a, a file. Sometimes with a file, you can end up derounding the hole and you probably don't wanna do that if you can see the hole. All right, Lee, thanks so much for coming in. Thanks for having me. Of course. Don't forget to check out the next episode where we show you guys how to do custom cable sleeving. Thanks for watching GeForce Garage, the ultimate resource center for designing, building, and customizing your GeForce PC.